Hello everyone, Cassandra here and welcome to my closet. A few months ago I was talking about the shoes I wear and now it's finally the time to talk about the bags. And I really try to put everything here so they are quite visible and I quickly realized that I have way too many bags. So let's not talk about the numbers but let's jump into the questions and see what bags I wear. Speaking of the newest bag in my collection, I know for sure that I'm not gonna stop now even though I have a few bags. I have one on the way, maybe multiple on the way, who knows, but for now the newest one stands here. I know how much you can see about this corner here, but I got a chair with some extra bags because I needed extra space. And this backpack that my husband got me is a fresh bag in the collection. I needed a backpack and this one, as you can see, with this off-white cream-ish kind of white with a silver metal kind of is versatile and work with any kind of outfit and I needed something versatile and that also looked a bit elegant-ish. I mean, of course, it's a, it's a backpack. Works in casual kind of looks, but the whole material, I can put together even outfits that are more put together. I needed a backpack to carry my camera, my vlogging gear around, especially because I have a bigger type of vlogging gear. So if I go somewhere and I still want to look cute, but still have the space and the comfort of a backpack, I can have it with this. So here you got it. This is the newer bag in the collection. The bag I wear the most. This is a tricky question just because I usually change the bags depending on the outfits, but let's let's resume the few weeks let's say last month the bags because there are two i switched between two bags that i wore the most was of course the backpack you already seen this and the other one because if i don't have many things to carry around i like to go for a smaller type of bags and where it is here we have this one, which initially didn't look like this. Uh, I have like a thicker strap, longer strap for this bag in the same um, material and shade as the bag, but I decided to switch that for a simple golden chain. It also had like a smaller type of something here. You can grab the bag from here, but I cut that off and I went for the pearly ones. Now both the gold gold chain and the pearly ones came from this other bag I have here which is also a small bag this one was really cheap and it looks really cute right now I guess you can't really tell because it doesn't have the pearls and the gold, gold chain but overall this one is also a really nice bag and I really liked that I had this option to switch the attachments of the bags to one another and get a new look on this older one. So for anything that involved a, I don't know, dinner, lunch in family, something small, I got this one with me. I think even for a quick grocery shopping because all I needed to take with me was like the card holder and for anything like going to a movie, going whatever to the mall or something and I needed more space for the camera to vlog around, I got the backpack with me. Two extremes, I would say. Looking at everything I have here, it's hard for me to say that I have a single bag that I like most because I do have some qualities and things that I like about specific bags that others don't have. So I have some favorite features, let's say, about bags that I really like. For example, I like this one because it's so little and so simple and I can pair it with a lot of things. It fits quite some stuff inside and it has this elegant look, but it also works in something like casual as I'm wearing today. I mean, I'm quite casual, I would say so, but it works with this look as well. So I really like this little bag because it works with a lot of stuff, but it also has this elegant look to it. Then look at this one here. 
it's so cute and this one is actually some sort of a tweed fabric and i really love this aspect of this bag plus the whole combo of tweed and gold metal on it but at the same time i like this other one which is kind of similar to others it has silver chain but what i like about this one is the actual leather um, I think it's some sort of an artificial, vegan, whatever type of leather, but it's really nicely made. It, it has the quality in it, and for that I really um, appreciate this bag. Basically, I can't say that I have a single favorite bag, but I do have favorite elements and features that you can find in most of the bags I own. Now, speaking about the bag I like less, well, here is another story because I do have some bags that I don't really like anymore. I used to wear them, to love them, but I kind of grew up from those type of bags. And one of them should be this one. It's not necessarily an ugly bag, but I don't like it that much anymore. I used to wear this in high school, end of high school, and even in university I took this one with me and you can imagine it fits a lot of stuff that you need for school and it's really good bag, I mean it doesn't have much defects or anything even though I wore it uh, for some time. It's still good and yeah but not my favorite anymore so... It just stays here for I don't know what reason, but I still have it. Another less favorite bag should be this one. I got this one in Greece. Uh, I went there for our honeymoon and I got this bag, which is just a simple kind of black bag. It has this kind of shape, it looks like a pillow almost. It fits a lot of things inside because you have the space, but because it's just a simple black bag, I ended up not paying much attention to it anymore. So I still have it in case I need something simple for a specific outfit. I just didn't wear it in a long time. Moving on to the next question. At this point in my collection, there is a single bag that I never got out in the world and we are talking about this one right here and it's not the bag's fault it's my fault I mean kind of the bag's fault as well we'll see in a moment so it's this pretty one here in this beautiful mustard yellow kind of color I don't know how much you can see it on the camera but I will film close-ups of course and you will see that here on this bottom part of the bag we have a dirt line situation going on and I seen it from the start this is a thrifted bag by the way and I decided to get it anyways even if I wasn't able to get that out and I basically wasn't able to get this out and I tried a lot of products and solutions and cleaning whatever to, t to try and take this um, this dirt out but I wasn't able to do so and I decided to get it anyways from the start whether I will be able to take it out or not because if I wasn't able to do I will end up painting the bag. I do have two two painted bags and I really like the arty look on them so I have no problem to go for some paint and yeah that's why I decided to get a bag I just never ended up painting it so that's where is my fault because I never cut the paints and actually painted it because if I was doing that of course I would have been able to wear the bag and speaking of painted bags let me put that back here here is the first bag I painted. I had this bag for quite some time. It's an old bag and because it was that old and I didn't really feel like wearing it anymore, I decided to do something to revamp it, to make it more interesting. So I put these flowers on it and it instantly changed the bag and 
Even to this day, I am really proud of this beautiful painting I made here. And I really like this bag. I just don't wear it that much anymore, but I continue to love it because of the paintings. And the other painted bag that I have is this little one. Some flowers never hurt, but if I'm looking at it right now, not my favorite. Still like the other one though. <laughs> so yeah, the Master of the Yellow one, never seen the sun, never was never got out of the house. So maybe I will end painting it already. So and then I will be able to wear it out. I don't have many regrets in my life, especially when it comes to bags. I mean, even at the moment I have a few that are not my favorites anymore, at their time they were, they were worn, they were loved, and each of them had their own time. So let's say, speaking of regrets, this would be my biggest regret in life uh, just because I ended up at some point wearing it just as a wallet and I really get this zipper annoying here and um, you got the space inside but this zipper opening here it's not as large as the space inside so it's hard to get bigger things inside even if you have the space just because this zipper is too small for the whole thing anyways so yeah this is my biggest regret but we are not talking about chanel's or ysl's we talk about a phone bag so i'm like whatever it's just a bag <laughs> let's say i can live with this regret <laughs> as you probably noticed already most of the bags are in neutral colors and I have to admit I do want to invest in some colorful, playful, different kind of bags but for now the ones that I own are pretty versatile. It's gonna be much easier to share with you the ones that are not versatile than the ones that are. So yeah, I feel like most of them are really versatile. I mean, look at this one. Black simple bag works with a lot of things. Even the red ones. I feel like red is such a nice color or it's something to add a pop of color into a simple outfit. Even if, even in the outfit I'm wearing today, I could very easily get this one and still work with the look even though I have some colors on this um, corset or whatever this is. Still works with the whole fit. Another versatile one would be this one. Again, we have a simple black bag. Fits a lot of things. Even this one. This one I thrifted at some point and I always liked that it has this Burberry feel to it, but we still have neutrals in that. So it's gonna work with a bunch of outfits. Again, I feel like it's work with uh, the outfit I'm wearing right now as well. Now let's talk about the non-versatile type of bags. It's gonna be this one. It's a clutch with a lot of beads on it. And it's so, so beautiful. It's precious to me because it's so beautiful with all the beads. And of course, it's not versatile at all. It's gonna work for like occasions um gowns stuff like that but for a day-to-day -day basis no this one here is not as versatile as the other bags simply because of the color it's a really nice bag to have it fits a lot of stuff but i would wear this one just a simple outfit like in simple really simple outfits can work with the one i'm wearing right now as well but either with simple outfits either with um pinks or purples because it's gonna go for the same color scheme i feel like this one is also not as versatile this one i feel like it works more for summer days because it has this beach kind of vibe with the wood inspire handles with a whole cutouts in here so yeah this one is definitely not a versatile bag but it's a really cute one as well as this one again works for summer beach these kind of vibes so yeah i do have a few that are kind of seasonal 
but I also have a lot that kind of works with a lot of outfits. So I just cannot point just a single one that is versatile because I do have a lot. Speaking about the cheapest bag, we can finally be more specific because I do know which one is the cheapest. It would be this one, which was under four dollars of course it was thrifted and it's a bag that i wore a lot and even from the moment i got it it was in perfect condition i don't even know why i found this in a in a thrift store in this actual moment it's not looking that great because i wore it a bunch of times but in a moment i got it in the thrift store it was just as new so I really like this bag, it's just simple black and tiny, it kind of fits the wallet, the keys, the phone, basically what I usually need if I go somewhere. Being black works with a lot of outfits, so yeah. And it was, I don't, I don't know, $3 something, something like that. And we finally got to the last question where we talk about the most expensive bag that I own. And again, I finally can give you a specific um, example. The most expensive bag is this one. But to be super honest with you, I didn't pay for it. I actually received it, but it's still the most expensive bag in my collection. It was around 80 something dollars on the website. I got it from Tain. Um, and the quality speak for itself. It's such a beautiful bag, such a nice leather. And the way it's made, it's just perfect. I really like this bag and it's the most expensive one that I have and I talked about this before. I usually talk about this but uh, materialistic things like bags, shoes, clothes doesn't mean much for me. Even though I like fashion, I like to get dressed, I like to play with these things, I like to create outfits, I like to look like I'm really well dressed but I would never go for uh, paying thousands of dollars for clothing or shoes or bags. It's just not my thing. Even if I would be like a millionaire or something, just because you have that money doesn't mean you have to throw them around for these stupid things. I mean, it's a bag. It does what other bags do as well. You put things inside and you carry them around, so. With this video here, you got to experience another part of my closet, which I hope you really like. This was a bag collection, kind of. I went through a lot of them. Of course, I didn't go one by one and share with you each bag, but I really hope you enjoy the little story, the little self-interview sharing with you some of the bags. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, and if you have any other question, can't wait to talk to you in the comments below. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!